Hey and welcome to Design Tips. Today I will show you a few sketch tips that helps me to speed up my workflow every single day. Let's have a look on those. Using scissors. With scissors you can break every single shape apart and that's pretty handy. You select scissors, you select the shape and you can break it really apart. As you can see on this rectangle you can make triangle from it. That's pretty cool. It's even better with outlines where you can really create interesting shapes within the seconds. It's even more interesting when you add your own anchor points directly to this. You can actually still use the scissors and you can cut those shapes apart. Pretty handy. Rotate copies. Rotate copies is a really interesting way to create really nice compositions and also really interesting loaders. You select your shape you select rotate copies, you select the number of copies, in our case, let's say 20. Then, it, you can see, it creates this really interesting shape layer for you. And you can drag this around to create something even more interesting. But, when you press outside, you can't edit this anymore, so be aware of it. Using shape corners. I'm using this feature a lot. It actually helps you to create more interesting shapes and also more soft corners. When you click on any layer, you can select these corners. You go here, you drag this around and you can see that it just makes your corners way more smooth and it allows you to create more interesting shapes and more interesting designs. Math inputs. To be honest guys, no one hates math more than me. Luckily, there is thing in Sketch what can help me with calculations. Let's have a look on this. Let's say that I need to make this rectangle double size. Well, I just add multiply symbol by 2. Boom, it's multiplied. Let's say that I need to make it 2 times smaller. Boom, it's 2 times smaller. I can make it minus 10 or even minus 99. Boom, pretty simple and pretty handy. Smart duplication. Duplication is not really easy in Sketch, but with this feature, it's actually going to be more easier for you. Let's say that I need six more copies of this rectangle and I need to have them 20 pixels next to each other. How I do it manually? Of course not. Hold Alt, move this, this one 20 pixels from each other, then press Command D, and boom, you can duplicate them as much as you can. Pretty cool. I will be honest guys with you, this one is kinda buggy, but let's have a look on this. Path on layer. When you have text and you have shape, you can click and select this shape, or you can call it text. And you go to text on path, and as you can see, the text actually snaps on that shape. But when you start dragging this shape, you can see that it actually moves around. But it's kind of buggy, but it might be handy for you. I didn't know about this tip for years, but when I found out about it, I was blown away. The quick opacity change. When you select the, any object, any group, you can select the numbers and actually going to change the opacity of the layer, shape or group. Pretty fast way to do it and pretty handy. Making pie charts. This one is not that fast, but it's definitely handy, so I definitely want to show it to you. So you have these two circles. You go, you go to subtract. Now you have the circle without the middle part. The next step you do is that you create a rectangle. Let's say four pixels width. You make it whatever color you want. Then you duplicate this, rotate it, Put it to the position you want to have it. You duplicate this again because you forget to actually leave the original layer there. You duplicate this one again. And now what you do is actually go to subtract. Awesome, you have pie chart. But when you change the color of this pie chart, it's connected. You can't really change the color of these individual elements. Well, what you do is that you go to layer, path, and you go to flatten. Right now, it's going to split into the individual pieces and you can color each and individual piece to different color to just be really cool. 
That's it guys, thank you very much for watching and if you have any additional sketches put them in the comments below so everyone can see them and see you next time.